I could talk about that a lot. I think how I would answer it is, um, and you know, it's all those books you read, you know, uh, culture, eat strategy for breakfast and, uh, never take your eye off the culture ball. Um, all of those, uh, key words or key phrases. I think culture is habits. And I do think that your habits are how you win. Your habits are how you win personally. Your habits are how you win professionally. Your habits are how you win as a team. And so I don't know that there's necessarily coach one specific thing like this deal right here. I think everything is, is habits. And I think uh, another way that I would say that is um, figuratively speaking. I, hey, I just got here today. And uh, we need to sign a team. We need to hire a staff. Uh, there's a couple of people around here that you need to talk to, that you need to get to know, whatever all of those things are. And they all hit you like a ton of bricks. As you're figuratively walking through those things, because there's so many things coming at you and because the intensity is so, you know, like on a fire when you turn it up, and it's orange, and then it kind of turns red, and then it kind of turns blue. You know, that blue is actually hotter than the orange. But, like, if you hit the emoji on your phone, fire, there ain't no blue. So, in truth, that, that fire is not as hot as that welding torch, and at the end it turns blue-ish purple. The intensity that I'm talking about, it, it's not even orange. It's all-time purple. You know what I mean? So as you're figuratively walking through all of those things, I think the hardest thing to do, but the most important thing to do, is when you notice that that habit, whatever that is, when that habit is wrong, that you stop. You stop and you change that habit. And you know all the things that are coming your way and the fire that is coming <clears throat> your way, but that your, your strategy, or your tactic, or I don't know exactly which one, it's kind of an umbrella to me. That habit right there, that does not fit what we're gonna be about. And I'm gonna stop right here and fix that habit. Even though all of that other stuff is overwhelming. And so that's why I think you have to work real hard and you have to work real long hours and you can't be browbeaten Hey man, what about this? And hey man, what about this? If you as the leader don't fix that habit, then nobody else will. And so you have to stop a lot. And I don't think people ever talk about that. You know, like uh, it says in the Bible, I think God orders our steps. And you probably read books about it and like probably heard pastors preach on it. I think God orders our stops just as much as he orders our steps. And I think as a leader, you know the steps you have to take but too often times they don't speak on the stops you have to make because it's just human nature, right? Like, man, I got to hurry up and get over there. And you see that bad habit, but you're like, I got to go over here and I'm going to come back to that. And that's where you see a lot of leaders going, yeah, I was supposed to be over there, but I didn't do that. And then, uh, you know, a thousand days into their tenure, they get fired. Your stops are maybe more important than your steps. Because at least if I stop and I fix this, then when I take the next step, I know that stop, that habit is right. As opposed to continuing to take steps and there's holes in your game, there's holes in your habits along the way. Does that make sense? Yeah, I actually think that was a really good answer. <laughs>